What's going on guys? So we're going to do a new unboxing today and because you guys were kind of asking for this more or less, I know a few people were interested if I had any frame arm kits. This one has been sitting in the backlog for quite a few months now and it is a frame arms kit from Dakota Bukias. So not quite the normal Bendis. So this thing is actually going to be pretty cool. I have done one before and we can review it. I don't really think it fits technically in the Master Grade Monday segment, but you know, maybe. I don't know. Up to you guys. I don't know. So here we have some amazing box art here. You've got explosions and guns and everything going on. It's pretty cool. 1100 full action plastic kit. And this is actually the W2 Spectre. I do believe it's called the Werewolf Spectre. We'll have to look at it. And when we get into like the instructions and stuff, you guys will see why I chose this. As if the box art isn't a good enough reason to choose this thing. So you can see that the box is roughly the size of a normal small master grade box. I mean, it is a 1 to 100 kit, so it makes sense. I'm just showing you all the size here. You have some very interesting uh, CG line art here. It's pretty neat. So let me go ahead and open this because there's a, a marked difference between Kotobukiya kits, especially frame arms kits, versus Gumpla. So I'm going to push that as far back as I can. So we have the instructions right on top, which I think I did at, at a previous time. Let me get this camera raised up a little bit here so I can see what's happening. How many times am I going to say I need a bigger tripod? But anyways, so you get a good shot here of what the werewolf specter is going to look like, what his armaments are. Here's your color guide, which, you know, we're probably not even going to use. I have an interesting idea of what I might do to paint this guy since I'm getting a little bit better with masking so if I do add some paint details because um, he's definitely all grays and blacks I still have some leftover paint and stuff from my uh, grays builds now of course you get your obligatory here's all your runners now something that is a little bit different here tells you that steps 1 through 15 are going to get you to there. After that, you can actually choose, more or less, what you're going to get yourself into. So, you could build 16 through 32 as this. You could build 33 through 42 as this. 43 through 54 there. So, this thing comes with quite a lot of parts. So, this tells you what step you're on and how to get it there. Now, this guy which is the main difference between this and a Gumpla kit, you totally get a completely built frame. And while the instructions are generally pretty good, sometimes they can be vague. But let's go ahead and look at this. Look at this guy. It's got some heavy duty armor. You got some cool tracks right there. If you guys recall from uh, Dustin Ward's custom heavy arms, these are the same tracks so that'd be pretty neat but more or less this is what you're going for with this design so odds are that's the one i'm going to build even though you can sort of assemble it in different ways but let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the box right off the bat we have a custom kotobukiya weapon that i built uh, quite a while back you buy it just like you would builder's parts and it can assemble and change into different things and you can see this one is set up as a big cross gun odds are this will end up in this kit or yeah with this kit pretty much but maybe not with all these weapons intact so this can do a whole lot of things that i'll show off at a later date but i really really dig this weapon so let's move on so here we got some b runners like i said this thing will have multiple parts to build multiple kits or multiple suits I should say so this as I can see here bags on the floor and probably some leg armor and what appears to be the tank wheels so that's pretty cool so you've got two B runners set those over here tell me got some weapons runners here Ooh, that was close. Guys, be careful with your knives when you're opening things. 
and that's on the floor. Now here's one of those cool hidden missile pods, which are very heavy arms like. You've got mm, what I think looks to be like an underarm bazooka, something along those lines. And then just different pivot points, stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And here we got a nice metallic runner. Look at this for the hands. That is awesome. Whether you guys can see that sheen, it, it's a really nice, like, silver. I dig this. Kind of swirly, but not too bad. The hands don't move or anything like that, but you get some cool expressive hands. You got big hooked thumbs. These are actually very nice. Very good. Now, mind you, it has been quite some time since I built that original frame arms kit, so it's going to take some relearning because it's, it's very, very similar to a Gumpla kit, but in a lot of aspects it's not because you do apply things pretty much directly to the main frame of this guy. Okay, what do we got? It looks like we got a version of a head, stuff here, probably knees, definitely like butt skirts, thigh armor maybe? I don't know. Got some bazookas here. These are actually, I was going to give them credit, I almost said they were full cast. They're not, they're half cast. That's kind of neat. And then we have, uh, well, huge knife for one. Probably some shoulder armors. These I can't really guess too much. These are feet for sure. And also not knowing this kit right off the bat. This looks like a visor like you would have for like the sniper guys. That's kind of cool. Yeah, if you guys can't tell, I wanted this one because of the sheer color combination. It looks amazing. So this is definitely going to come with these tank treads one way or the other. Now, I don't know if it's going to be doable because I know you can swap parts on these guys. But if I can show off the multiple configurations, I'll try. Because this is really awesome. I mean, look at these tank treads. I mean, it's not as cool as, say, the, uh, the gun tank that came with you know, fully molded, assembled tank treads, but they're at least in two halves. That's pretty cool. I mean, I like the assembly. I mean, this is uh, leg armor, if I had to guess. And same thing. So I got another B2 runner there. This... Wow, that doesn't even look like a black. That actually looks almost like a dark blue. Maybe it's just the plastic... No, that's actually a darker color. Hold on. Yeah, look. Uh, that's hard. There you go. So this is like a navy. That was a dark gray. That's actually cool. Okay, we'll see what we're going to do with this. I mean, if i got to add some paint to it, it is what it is. Like, I'm pretty sure these little bits right here are supposed to be painted gray and stuff like that. So we'll see. So that's definitely, that's definitely knee armor. Odds are I'm going to need some white in here, and you guys know I hate painting white things. Especially on dark kits. It's so stupid. Okay, that's just the way the box is assembled. And here is more runners. Got so you guys can see, this thing has quite a lot, you know, for all the different armor configurations and stuff. I mean, we barely had weapons. He doesn't really have loose weapons. They're all kind of built on. Okay, so that just looks like side armors of legs. No clue. We'll see what happens. I'm going to take a while to build this, guy. So this is, this is coming out on Friday. Odds are I'll finish this build by next Friday because it's just a little bit different. And I'll show you off. This is the main big difference. This is the architect. So this is your main inner frame. As you can see, it pretty much comes completely assembled, even with this cool looking head that's very much like a Halo Spartan. Now you do remove bits and pieces of this, so you've got all the different holes and stuff for different configurations. So that's how the different armors can punch on there, so you even get different feet if you want to. This one actually is a nice, that nice metallic color that the, the hands were. It looks like it's metal, which is really neat. I was actually going to paint the frame, but now that I see that it's actually this color, the last one I did was just a straight gray. I'm going to leave it. I, I really do like this. And they, um, the old ones used to not come with architects, apparently. You had to buy the architects separately. So that way, you know, because the architects are all the same, you can, if you truly want to, take things apart and change them over so you can just swap out the armor onto something else. Speaking of that, there's even more armor underneath the architect.
this would be those big old arm mounted shields and you can tell it's definitely going to mount either cannons or something underneath but this is that nice uh navy color that's pretty cool seriously guys i'm digging this like this I, the other one i built uh, obviously similar color scheme with uh, grays and reds but this is pretty neat hey look poly caps a whole two <laughs> two friggin poly caps for all of that all right we got another head here I like how the, this is almost like a transformer looking head. Like just to add like a transformer's face behind that, that'd be pretty cool. But actually here's the, the head you'll really use. Now presumably that would take some painting of a visor and I'm guessing this is a very sniper like looking head. So that's gonna need, I need to get a chrome pen so I can start doing some chrome and clear colors. That's pretty cool. God knows which ones these are for. That's why all the different configurations are broken down by different uh, Different bits. Haha! It actually came with white parts. That's good. So, at least building the werewolf version would be good. I don't believe there's a sticker sheet in there, but that's why they're telling me to mix up some orange. I might have to make a trip to Hobby Town sometime soon. We'll see what happens. I might just mix up my own custom orange as usual because this little sniper visor, along with that line across there, is supposed to be orange. So, I don't know. Um. I'm just looking at the looking at the instructions. So these are shoulder armors, at least two of them. Is there, there's got to be another white runner buried in here somewhere. Um, here's some chest armor pieces. That's pretty cool. Who knows? We'll see what happens. So I think what we were looking at there the first time, like this side of the box is actually divided, as you can see. This is all like this is your specter. This is your werewolf parts. I think is realistically what that is. Oh, yes. Big friggin' guns. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Ooh, man. That is a cannon to end some wars. And you get two of them. And they end up being arm mounted. So that's going to be pretty awesome when I get that done. I, I dig this. I dig this a lot. Oh, wow. Though these are probably going to need a little bit of paint, probably just some extra touches of gray, maybe some gun metal up here on the barrels. We'll see what happens, guys. I think that's it, though. Yeah, that's it. Those are empty. So one thing, uh, if you guys notice, there's no stickers for these, as I sort of said that earlier. And while that's a cool thing, sometimes I wish, like, there's, there's some details there that I kind of wish were included in some stickers. That'd be neat. So like visors and stuff like that. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot you have the, the frame arms cover. So you stick that back in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a stickler for like reassembling the box the proper way. There we go. Then the architect goes on top of that carefully because don't want to damage anything. And then we have to slowly compile all the parts back in here. So I'm excited guys. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these and the fact that this thing has so many configurations is kind of awesome. So you can mix and match your parts, stuff like that. And the fact this thing has so much armor color separation depending on which version you go with, because this is almost a brown. I, didn't, I don't even think I noticed that before. So you've got like a definite gray, you've got this brown, you've got this definite charcoal color, and then you've got that navy color. So, I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff that can go. And, you know, I was talking about, like, the basic frame color is essentially this for a lot of things. So this is just absolutely blank. But if I want to, I can hit this with some dark grays and blacks and some silvers, and this would be an amazing looking weapon. And, yeah, this thing's so cool. You know, it comes apart. It is nice and modular. So they built this thing to be done a lot of things. Not to mention incredibly pointy little, you know, stake right there. So, ah, I'm just going to drop it. You know, very nice. I like this. So cannon thingies, hidden hidden armor weapons. So this will be a lot of fun in and of itself. If I, if I don't use it on this, it'll still stick around for another frame arms build there's there's quite a few frame arms i want to get 
and I'm already forgetting. What is that new Hexa Hexa gear? I think is what it's called. I'm, I was looking into those. They're a little pricey, but they're also really cool looking. So might end up finding my way into a Hexa gear sometime soon. But oh yeah, so you guys can see this. So here's your normal uh, werewolf that you want you to build. What happens underneath the shield? It'll even show you. You know, front shield, rear shield. New, 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 new. Or you can do this. That's actually pretty cool. Actually, well, that's the same thing. They just have the cannons uh, flipped up. And I love the fact that it's got like these giant feet right here that plop down to hold it up. It is a definitely made for artillery. But that's it. For this unboxing of the Fr Kotobukiya Frame Arms Werewolf Spectre Kit. It'll be a fun one, guys. It, it should be interesting to review this if I somehow get around to making multiples or the multiple versions of it. We'll see what happens. But catch it on the review, guys. If you're new here, make sure you like and subscribe. Check out all the other Gunplay reviews and the other Shoki Quickies, all the other fun, nerdy things that we've looked at over all these last months. And as always, I'd like to thank my patrons for your patronage, Andy Tubbs and Steel Angel John. You guys are awesome. Your money will go a long way to keeping Shoki reviews moving forward in the future. So, as always, guys, keep on building.